you heard the beeping at the end of the last video do not worry it's just the smoke detector and everything is fine dinner has been checked nothing is on fire and it was entirely planned as foreshadowing a new servitude there is something in that i soliloquized mentally be it understood i did not talk aloud i know there is because it does not sound too sweet it is not like such words as liberty excitement enjoyment delightful sounds truly but no more than sound to me and so hollow and fleeting that it is mere waste of time to listen to them but servitude that must be matter of fact anyone may serve i have served here eight years now all i want is to serve elsewhere can i not get so much of my own will is not the thing feasible yes yes the end is not so difficult if i had only a brain active enough to ferret out the means of attaining it so jane's just thinking i don't want anything fancy like liberty or freedom i just want to serve work somewhere else i sat up in bed by way of arousing this said brain it was a chilly night i covered my shoulders with a shawl and then i proceeded to think again with all my might what do I want? A new place in a new house, amongst new faces, under new circumstances. I want this because it is of no use wanting anything better. How do people get to a new place? They apply to friends, I suppose. I have no friends. There are many others who have no friends who must look about for themselves and be their own helpers. And what is their resource? I could not tell. Nothing answered me. I then ordered my brain to find a response, and quickly. It worked and worked faster. I felt the pulses throb in my head and temples, but for nearly an hour it worked in chaos, and no result came from its efforts. Feverish with vain labor, I got up and took a turn in the room, undrew the curtain, noted a star or two, shivered with cold, and again crept to bed. A kind fairy in my absence had surely dropped the required suggestion on my pillow, for as I lay down, it came quietly and naturally to my mind. Those who want situations advertise. You must advertise in the blank Shire Herald. Um, just so you know, if you ever see that M dash, that longer dash in a work of literature, 1800s, even a little bit earlier, um, it's just kind of meant as a fill in the blank. Um, your author doesn't want to distinguish what area or town they're writing in. Um, kind of if you were uh, talking about someone and you didn't want anyone to know their real name, you may say, oh, and then blah, blah, did this. So um, that's, that's what you'll see if you're reading along with the text. How? I know nothing about advertising. Replies rose smooth and prompt now. You must enclose the advertisement and the money to pay for it under a cover directed to the editor of the Herald. You must put it, the first opportunity you have, into the post at Lowton, and answers must be addressed to J.E. at the post office there. You can go and inquire about a week after you send your letter, if any are come, and act accordingly. So she's going to advertise in the local newspaper and see if anyone responds and says, hey, yes, we need someone to come and teach. This scheme I went over twice, thrice. It was then digested in my mind. I had it in a clear, practical form. I felt satisfied and fell asleep. With earliest delay, with earliest day, I was up. I had my advertisement written, enclosed, and directed before the bell rang to rouse the school. It ran thus. A young lady accustomed to tuition, had I not been a teacher two years, is desirous of meeting with a situation in a private family where the children are under 14. I thought that as I was barely 18, it would not do to undertake the guidance of pupils nearer my own age. She is qualified to teach the usual branches of good English of a good English education, together with French, drawing, and music. In those days, reader now, this narrow catalog of accomplishments would have been held tolerably comprehensive. Address J.E. Post Office, Lowton, Blankshire. So um, this is what she advertises in the newspaper. If you're looking at it, again, the, the things in brackets, those, uh, those little square marks, are not included in the actual ad. This is what she's thinking or commenting um, to us, the readers, not what she's writing in there. So this is her, her advertisement. This document remained locked in my drawer all day. After tea, I asked leave of the new superintendent to go to Lowton in order to perform some small commissions for myself and one or two of my fellow teachers. Permission was readily granted. I went. It was a walk of two miles, and the evening was wet, but the days were still long. I visited a shop or two, slipped the letter into the post office, and came back through heavy rain with streaming garments, but with a relieved heart. So she mails her letter. <laughs> 